Get ready to have a ball. I'm the Flannel Fox Tim Swernick, and I reviewed Stick Bold Deluxe Edition on the Nintendo Switch. When I began playing Stick Bold, the opening scene was playing, and at first I thought, huh, janky animations and Minecraft-like characters, this doesn't seem very original. Boy was I wrong. The moment I pegged an opponent with my first dodgeball throw, my eyes widened. This, this is fun. Playing from an isometric perspective, you have a number of different tools at your disposal. Running into a ball to pick it up, you then hold throw to launch the ball at your opponent, aiming with the left joystick, throwing in the same direction that you're running, or engaging the right joystick to aim in a twin stick shooter fashion. Although, aiming with the right joystick isn't very accurate, so I tended to stick with the left. When you're not holding a ball, you can use your throw button to hit your opponent to make them drop the ball or push them out of bounds. Pressing B is your dodge, which you can use to jump out of the way of an incoming ball, jump toward the ball to get it faster than your opponent, or catch the ball thrown at you. If you get hit once, you'll see stars, and if you get hit again before your stars are gone, you're out. Playing on a team gives you the opportunity to be revived by your teammates, but no matter the team's size, when your whole team gets knocked down, the opposing team gets a point. Three points and game, set, match. Stick Bold is meant to be a co-op experience, which when you have the extra players at the house, yes, this game is a fun, competitive, wacky game that will certainly get those Switch party moments the Switch was designed for. But if you typically only play a single player, this game still has a lot to offer. The campaign does a lot to break away from just a bunch of matches in different locations. While at its base, it is just that, but the cutscenes are uniquely funny, which introduce you to new characters and level-specific mechanics that break the matches out of the norm. When you think you've mastered the basics, honey-hurling hippies smashing into you with their van can throw you right on your butt. While the entire playthrough won't take you more than two or three hours, after each stage you unlock a new character that you can utilize in other game modes, and it's well worth the experience. The Deluxe Edition on Nintendo Switch comes with some great new updates. Allowing more co-op players instead of four, you can play with six. They've also added a kooky new mode called Wheel of Rumpus. Inspired by 70s television game shows, each player spins the wheel landing on a different challenge, the winner getting to customize their character with some great swag after each match. Stick Bold is one of the best co-op games on the Switch. With a simple control scheme that won't intimidate your non-gamer buds, a great variety of single-player modes to satisfy the commuting gamer, and a personality to make everyone smile, Stick Bold will brighten up parties from Copenhagen to Brooklyn. That's why I'm giving Stick Bold an 8.5 out of 10. If you enjoyed this video game review, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and follow me on Metacritic and Twitter at TheFlannelFox. See you next time, Switchers!